Among the changes is Charles de Gaulle Avenue in the capital near me, which was named after former French president. It has become Jibo Bakari Avenue in memory of a key political figure in Niger's fight for independence. Francophonie Square wasn't spared either. It's been renamed the Alliance of Sahel State Square in recognition of the recent alliance Niger made with its regional neighbors Burkina Faso and Mali. Local, even Pan-African heroes seem to be forgotten. Otherwise, little known and less valued with the exception of a few figures who were celebrated following the addressing work carried out in 1982 in the city of Niamey. There are public squares in our capital which, if they do not bear the names of controversial figures or represent anything in the collective imagination, simply recall the suffering and bullying suffered by our people during the ordeal of colonization. In another symbolic gesture, the portrait of French commander Pafalo Montel mounted on a wall in Niamey was replaced with that of Thomas Sankara, a revolutionary and one-time president of Burkina Faso. The major impact is that the young generations will come to grow up with the image of these heroes of Africa, these heroes of our country and those who helped our country free itself from the yoke of colonialism throughout history. Today, our younger generations will develop a new narrative, that of an Africa that has no complexes and has decided to take its destiny into its own hands. The Franco-Nigerian Cultural Center has been renamed after one of the country's filmmakers, Mustafa Alassane. The renaming of streets and monuments has been welcomed by the citizens and military officials alike. This is a very good initiative and we've been waiting for it for a long time. We are asking our authorities to rename all the places that bear the names of the colonialists. These places must bear the names of people from the AES who have left their mark on Africa. Our great-grandparents endured significant challenges and hardship as a result of colonization. It is no longer acceptable to honor those who perpetuated the suffering of our ancestors while overlooking the contributions of our heroes who have brought glory to our country. The renaming exercise is expected to extend to other parts of the country. Many observers believe that the initiative marks a symbolic confirmation of Niger's definitive break with its former imperial ruler. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.